Yo, what's up, man? This is Boxing Combo coming at you with another quick vid. This time we're talking about Alexander Dimitrinko. I'm sorry if I got your last name wrong, my back, versus Eddie Fast Chambers. Uh, the last time I saw Eddie Chambers, I've only seen two of his fights, two of his fights, but the last time I saw him was versus the Nigerian Nightmare, which, which really surprised the hell out of me. I thought the Nigerian Nightmare was going to knock this guy out right quick, even though Eddie Chambers has a good record. But, you know, he was overweight. He didn't look in shape. He was kind of fat for that fight. But Eddie Chambers did his thing, and he boxed his way. He boxed his way to victory over the Nigerian Nightmare. Alexander Dimitrenko, I've never really seen this guy. This is the first time I saw him. Um, the first thing I got to say, man, Alexander, God, man, you look like the dude. You look just like the dude from the Rocky movie. I mean, just, I don't know if you're his cousin or something. Probably his son or something. He looked exactly like the guy from the Rocky movie. Anyway, man, let me give you some info on this. Alexander Dimitrenko has a 6'7, 6'7, man, 83 uh, inch reach. Wow. Um, what I could see, the guy doesn't like to jab. You have that type of, uh, of reach, 83 inches. You, the first thing you should do is jab. Uh, for some reason, he doesn't do that. His record 29 and 0, 19 KO. Eddie Chambers. Eddie Chambers has uh, 35, 34 fights, one loss, 18 KOs. Eddie Chambers really surprised me, man. Eddie Chambers was was in that ring with a guy so big, so long, and Eddie Chambers really did his thing. Now, sometimes you, you start to think in these heavyweight fights, you know, when they go 12 rounds, they usually get boring. But this fight, this particular fight, was not boring. I, I watched the fight. I watched every round. It, it was a good, entertaining fight. Even though it went 12 rounds, it was a good fight. Uh, Alexander uh, went down once in the fight. I think once, yeah, once. It was a real good fight. I think it was it was an entertaining fight, and y'all guys can see this fight on YouTube. Um, the thing is, like, uh, again, the, like I said the first time, you always have that pig judge that just it just he gets in there, man, like those worms and those rotten apples, you know. The, you always have that pig judge. One judge had a 109, 117 for Eddie Chambers, which I think that that was pretty much. Uh, Accurate. You had also 111, 116 Eddie Chambers. Uh, very good score. Good score also. Even though I mean Alexander, he kept coming. He, he also was doing his thing. But I just saw Chambers pretty much winning pretty much all the rounds. Anyway, but you had this one guy, which I put a bit on there. I don't know who did this bit. Talking about this guy called Paul Thomas, who is a corrupt pig judge, and he's been doing this for all his career now. The guy gave this fight. 113, 113. How do you get that? You guys, you know, just watch the fight on YouTube and tell me how that fight could have went 113, 113. So, you know, what do we got to do with this guy, Paul Thomas? Um, I think we should hang him. I mean, we can't do anything else anyway. So now I'm going to get at you with some of the fights I think now we, we can talk about Eddie Chambers. I think Eddie Chambers, from what I saw, this guy, I've seen him twice already. He has fast hands, he has good technique. Doesn't have much pop in the punch, but he's a good fighter. And it, it, what, both of those fights that I'm talking about, the Nigerian Nightmare and this fight right now with Alexander, they were both real entertaining fights. I mean, he, he's no Mike Tyson, but who, who is Mike Tyson nowadays? You don't got a Mike Tyson nowadays. Anyway, let me get at you right quick. Who are the guys that I would want to see him fight? I would want to see him fight Chris, Chris Arriola, American. I would want to see him fight Kevin Johnson, American. I would, I would want to see him fight... Uh, John Breeze, American. Uh, you also have Ali, uh, Alex, Alex Povic, Povican, and you got David Head. These are all good contenders for uh, Chambers. I mean, I mean, we're gonna go beneath the, the Kliskos, because these guys, Kliskos, they, they seem to be, be like uh, unbeatable dudes right right now. Uh, so, not talking about the Kliskos. I'm just talking about all these other fighters. Like I said, Chris Oyola, Kevin Johnson, John Breeze, David Head, Alex Povic. And, and I would mention Nikolai Vorvi, Vorvi, something. Nikolai, the guy who's that seven foot giant, whatever. I would like to mention him, but the thing is, if he, if any one of these American fighters are going to fight this uh, Nikolai, it has to be on American soil, because American fighters have been going to where he's from or all the other countries he's been fighting at. And the thing is. They always get robbed. John Reed fought this guy twice, I think, or once or twice, I don't know, when he was robbed. Even the, the crowd was even booing the, uh, the Nikolai guy. 
uh, Holyfield, I saw that fight with Holyfield. I don't know if he was taking steroids or what was up in that fight, but Holyfield was active, and Holyfield won every round in that fight, and they robbed the fight from Holyfield, and they gave it to the seven-foot Nikolai Giant. So if Nikolai, if you ever want to fight again, please, you got to come over here to the States and fight. Because, you, you know, you can't keep sending these boxes to wherever you want them to fight, and then you rob them. I mean, that's just, it, it, it really, you know, the hell with Nikolai and the promoters and, and all the pig judges, because that's what it's all about. Anyway, man, I would like to give a, a shout out to this guy, Eddie Chambers. You're doing real good. I want I want to see you again the next time. I hope they do it on Showtime or ESPN or somewhere where I can see the fight live. And Eddie Chambers, I'm going to use this uh, microphone my son gave me for Father's Day, and I'm going to give you a round of applause. Here we go. So that's it, man. This is Boxing Combo coming at you with that quick video. Just wanted to talk about that fight because you got to watch that fight, man. It was a good, entertaining fight. It was a real good fight. Uh, Eddie Chambers, uh, much props and peace, my people. Boxing Combo, much respect like always, bro. Peace.